Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Oracle DP online training. So in this tutorial, we will be looking at how to schedule Armand backup from the OEM 13C cloud control. And before I'll begin, I'll request all the new friends to please subscribe our YouTube channel Oracle DP online training. So already you are getting a lot of learning from this uh, YouTube platform. And if you if you have seen our previous tutorials, like previously we have covered how to create a new database from the OEM 13C and there are various such topics that you can explore from the, I mean, uh, maybe it's a rack or maybe a data guard patching database upgrade. And there are a lot many things you can learn from our Europe platform. So I'll request all the new friends to please subscribe our channels. And also you can follow me on various uh, social media platforms. And if you have any queries or if you are interested about uh, enrolling our training programs, you can contact me on the given following uh, contact numbers and also you can contact me through email id shared here and apart from this recently we have uh, completed our 4000 uh, subscriber I'll, I'll thanks all the friends to uh, who has subscribe our youtube channel and uh, uh, and also if if you are interested about our documents from this channel you can just uh, purchase our uh, this uh, documents or even though you can purchase our course so without wasting much of time let's start today's agenda that is how we can con configure or how we can schedule the armen backup uh, from the oem 13c okay so let's let's start this tutorial and see so first we'll uh, i mean this is my o oml server which is already up and running and also uh, i have one database called prime prim database where from on which we are going to perform the Armand backup using the OEM. Okay, so let's let's connect to the OMS server, which is already up and running. So I'll I'll try to connect to the OMS. I mean OEM console. This is a user sysman, and then I'll put the password for this user. And uh, once we log in, let me try again. yeah so as soon as we'll log in into the oem uh, oem console we'll see this interface based upon the interface selection that you did previously you'll get this this kind of interface okay so i'll try to explore the database which uh, we will where we will we need to perform the database uh, arm and backup okay so I'll, I'll try to find out the targets from here i'll go to the database from this segment remember the database name is and it is currently running on 191 servers so i'll select this database it is already status if you see here it is showing me a green signal that means it is already up and running okay so from this segment i mean i'll need to go to the job activity since we are going to perform the armand backups we need to schedule a job and uh, basically my target here is uh, I'll, i'm going to create a job which will take a daily backup or maybe after a certain period of time and uh, once the backup is completed after that i'll get the notification on my email so this is the idea about this entire tutorial so <clears throat> let me let let me check uh, how we can do it okay so we'll create a job from the here and we'll try to find out any uh, specific jobs let me search that job yeah so we have arman script option over here we will select this script okay so we can define the name like uh, arman backup for prim database okay and uh, in the description also i'll give the same thing and automatic attempt so let's suppose uh, the maximum number of times the automatic um, automatically re-attempt this job if it is getting failed okay so we will try to do the automatic re-attempt at least twice before it gets fails the number of minutes between the attempts so we'll keep the diff uh, let's say five to ten minutes and the database instance and this is a single instance database type okay and apart from this we need to set the parameters here so if you if you already have any backup script you can use that script or else you need to define you need to copy the uh, script here and then you can schedule the backup okay so what i'll do i'll just mention backup 
database plus archive log and then semicolon okay so credential will be default uh, it will connect to the database host credential as well as a credential for the database the both the credentials are important and it is required okay then you need to schedule so if you want a repeated one you can just mention the repeating if you want one time later you can mention it if you want to execute immediately you can select this option okay so I, uh, what i'll do i'll uh, mention like one time uh, schedule so we'll select the time from here it is already like time zone mentioned here so currently it's a uh, 3:15 i'll put it like 3 317 and uh, if you want you can uh, define the grace period also over here and uh, similarly you, you can select the repeating one also like if you want to schedule the arman backup on daily basis you can mention the re repeat every time like um, after how many time you want the repetitions okay and uh, you can uh, repeat in minutes hours days weeks weekly or even the monthly basis so you can just select like day basis you can keep the repeat every one day what is the start time so you can keep the start time like 3 17 pm and uh, uh, you can mention the grace period and repeat until so here you can define any a limit also like uh, i want to keep the backup till this point of time or you can just keep this loop forever okay so let's suppose i want to keep the backup around like 320 currently it's a 317 pm so i'll keep like a 320 and also you can mention the access okay so access uh, basically the table contains the administrator role who has access to this job so we can mention those information and also you can mention the email notification so this one is important one basically you can schedule a email notification once the backup is completed or if you want to provide information or if it is a critical state so critical state means uh, let's suppose the backup is getting failed so that becomes a critical state right so in that case we can just i mean uh, get a notification to the owners okay so basically we have these are the four users or five users you can say so Currently, the owner of this backup will be a sysman user, which is a super administrator. You can just uh, verify this detail from uh, going to this page from sysman. Let me sorry from the setup page. You can just uh, go under the security and you can verify those users, administrator users. Okay, if you want, you can modify. Even though you can define the email IDs and other stuff from this uh, users. I mean this segment. Okay and also you can mention select status let's suppose it, if it, if you want like it is backup is scheduled if you want that notification you can select this option if backup is running that 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 also you can get the notification apart from that you can mention whenever it is succeeded if there is a problem that is also you can select action required so all these options you can select and uh, based upon that you can uh, basically define the arm and backup so backup database plus archive log so i haven't given anything like chan allocate channels or uh, maybe uh, location where we need to put the backup so by default if you don't put the any location it will go to the uh, location of your um, fra or you can say fast recovery area okay so in this case it, it will go in that location fra location but if you want as proper script you can define that also and apart from this i'll i'll just re-verify the schedule i'll just check change the schedule let's say 321 because uh, currently it's uh, 319 uh, as of now on my screen so i'll keep it like 321 and then i'll try to submit this job so no targets are currently selected let me re-verify what is the issue here okay so we need to select the target also like uh, on which database server we want to perform the uh, this backup okay so we have this 190 uh, server where we need to uh, perform the armin backup even though we can define the parallel execution maximum parallel execution two three i'll put it like two okay so we'll try to submit this job Following preferred credential are not non 
Okay, so I need to re-verify the credential also. Basically, this should be a SysDP privilege. And this is the host based. Okay, let me, I'll try to modify the schedule like 3.22 p.m. so that we can execute properly. So basically, it's not taking the credential. Let me um, re-verify. So after providing the proper credential, we uh, we can see this job is successfully uh, submitted, and uh, we can re-verify if you want. If you want to modify anything, you just have to select this job. And from here, you can edit also, like uh, if you want to change the uh, Armin backup schedule or anything, you can just click here and make the changes from here. So let me just try to modify the timing so that we can uh, again be verify whether it is getting successfully submitted. Okay, so this job is modified right now. Currently, we can see the time here is around of 3.26 p.m. And I will try to see whether it is getting successfully executed around uh, 3 at 28, okay? So if you want to verify here, you can just check uh, this detail. Also, you can go to job activity. From here, you can check the schedule, okay? And um, so this is how we can schedule the Armin backup and we need to just verify whether it is getting successfully executed or not. From here, you can just verify the status also. And sometime if you want to verify the job is completed or not, those details also we can verify. So let, let me just um, So still one minute to go and we'll try to verify whether this job is getting executed or not. Okay. And uh, once the Armin backup is completed, we should get the emails from here. So previously we have scheduled one Armin backup. Uh, during that time we got this mail and uh, let, let's see whether we are getting the fresh mail about this or not. We'll try to refresh again and uh, still it is showing me the scheduled schedule time and uh, we'll try to refresh again Now, if you see here, we are getting a mail saying that the Armin backup is running. So, job Armin backup is running. You can see this email is there. And also, we will try to see the job status from here. Now, you can see this is still running. You can check the details. And uh, basically, it, it has connected to the database and then it is trying to execute the Armin backups. Again, we can just go back and see the status. So once this particular job is getting completed successfully, we should be getting one email saying that this Armin is completed. And uh, this is very simple way of uh, I mean, scheduling the Armin backup uh, using the OEM. And we can see the logs also, like it is trying to take the backup. If there is any errors during the time of backup, it will throw those errors uh, on your email. And uh, also we can verify from here also. And uh, so if there is any action required, we need to just check action required or uh, suspended job details. Okay. This job is still not completed. We need to wait a few more minutes before it is getting completed. And uh, here we can see the backup is still happening. If you want, you can just refresh this page. And uh, so I hope you have understood how to uh, schedule Armin backup from the OEM.
and if you want to learn about how to configure or how to uh, configure an email notification you can watch our previous tutorials uh, uh, like uh, i already provided the detail about how to configure or how to make so you can just explore the playlist from the oem related playlist so in this tutorial you'll get all the details okay and let's re-verify whether this Armin backup got completed or is still running so now it is uh, doing the current arc log uh, backup so uh, within a few minutes of time it should be over and uh, we'll re-verify okay so this Armin backup got completed successfully and uh, here also we can see the succeeded message is there and if you if you want to verify it we can just uh, get the details from the succeeded message so this backup got completed and uh, we got the email also this backup is successfully completed okay and the next schedule is also there that is mentioned okay you will get the complete log on your email id and uh, this is how the we can schedule any armin backup on the so if you if you want to revisit let me uh, just show you again so that uh, easy to understand you need to first go to your database from this option you need to go to the job activity on the uh, left side so it's still connecting so from here you need to select the first point that is a uh, job activity under this you can uh, create a new jobs or even though you can modify all these jobs so we have this job which we scheduled if you want to modify anything in this you can just click on edit if you want to verify you can just ch check that okay so this is how you can basically perform the armen backup or this is how you can schedule any armen backup from the oem so that you can get the mail also regarding the backup completion i hope this tutorial is helpful for you and uh, if you are new on my youtube ch channel please subscribe our youtube channels and i uh, will meet in the next class on your next tutorials and uh, thanks for watching our video have a great day